Tomobiki Shrinks, an Urusei Atsura fanfic by Ben Serretta. Urusei Atsura is owned by Yurumiko Takahashi. One day, I shrink class to four. Lum exclaims, Hey, I'm tiny. Ben, come back here. Ataru adds, Yeah, Ben, come back. We can't chase you in this tiny form. Shinobu adds, Ben, why would you shrink us? Please reverse it. Sakura, Ben, please don't leave us behind. Reverse the shrinkage. 10. Hmm, should I get some sugar from the kitchen? I'm sure there'll be lots of it, especially in my tiny form. Katatsu says, Meow. Oh no, I'm small. Ben, please don't leave me behind. I then trap them in a jar. Lum says, Hey Ben, what's the big idea? Let us out. Ataru adds, Yeah Ben, this is super humiliating. I don't want to be a specimen in a jar. Shinobu adds, Please have mercy Ben, I don't want to suffocate in here. Sakura adds, We really need to find a way out before it's too late for us. Kotatsu bounces off the walls of the jar and exclaims, Ow! Ben, please let us out. We won't mess with you. Eventually, I shrink everyone else and tumble with Beaky City down. Lum. Ben, I can't believe you shrunk everyone else down, too. Ataru. Great, just great. Now we're all stuck in here. Cherry says, My boy, please have mercy on us. Mendo. Yeah, Ben, please let us out. We won't mess with you, at least for a while. Soon I begin taunting them without mercy. Lum. Ben, you're really enjoying this, aren't you? Ataru. Let us out, Ben. We'll show you who's boss. The jar is too secure and I continue to taunt them. Katatsu hisses at me, proclaiming, Ben, you're going to regret this. Lum exclaims, Ben, come back here. Please don't hide from us. As I run away from them as far as I can. Ataru. Don't be a coward. Let's suck this through. Mendo, do you want us to get really angry, Ben? They find a way to use the jar to get to me. I'm sitting on the couch watching TV. I eventually notice the jar with the little gang inside popping out from underneath the couch, rolling around. Even though I fear for my life, I start to tease them more. I pick up the jar and tease, You're going to be trapped in here for eternity! Na 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 na! The tiny game becomes more and more desperate, and as I place him down, I take off in the sprint. I make it outside, and so does the jar. At one point, I hear a really faint rumbling noise coming from the jar itself. The lid of the jar begins to shake and rattle violently, and the lid flies off. The citizens of Tomobiki have burst right out of the jar. They are now determined to get revenge on me, their faces red with complete anger. The tiny citizens charge towards me, their tiny feet stomping on the ground like a toy army. I make a run for it, then decide it's time to really unshrink them. Ataru expresses it with a mischievous grin. Thanks for the wild ride, Ben, but let's just stick to normal size, okay? Lum zaps me playfully and says, and let's avoid capturing everyone in the jar. Then she pats me on the back, but hey, it was a pretty cool adventure, am I right? In the end, I decide, even with chaotic moments, I have further advanced my friendship with the town of Tomobiki and the cast of Urusei Atsura.